Okay, so you wanted to know about aunts and uncles, and I'm thrilled to tell you about um, the work I've been doing on aunts and uncles because, um, quite surprisingly, it turns out to be more involved and more interesting than I ever anticipated when I first began interviewing um, family members uh, a few years ago. Basically, what I found is that certainly not all aunts and uncles are involved with their nieces and nephews. Um, I don't have an exact figure, but roughly in my study, about a third of aunts and uncles were very involved with their nieces and nephews, and uh, approximately a third were not very involved at all, and many were right in the middle there. But let me tell you a little bit, Nancy, about um, when they're involved, what they can do. Um, aunts can, and uncles can do um, a variety of things. One sort of uh, realm of activity that they engage in is kind of support services for parents. Um, and they can supplement parenting in a lot of ways. Um, sometimes they provide, they act as partisan supporters of parents or, um, or nieces and nephews. And what I mean by that is sometimes parents will ask um, their siblings or their siblings-in-law, the aunts and uncles, uh, to intervene with their children, um, either because um, parents just uh, encourage that relationship, they want to encourage that relationship, or because um, maybe they have a, a, a topic that's difficult to talk with, uh, and to talk to an adolescent about, um, for example, uh, sexuality issues and issues of relationship or substance abuse were topics that often parents would call on aunts and uncles to intervene with and in, in regard to their nieces and nephews. And uh, aunts and uncles were very willing to do that. They often talk to their nieces, nieces and nephews about hot zones. Um, and uh, nieces and nephews, um, from their point of view, um, they, they, um, they valued uh, aunts and uncles because they tended to be less, in their view, um, more value-free and less judgmental uh, than parents. So it was sometimes easier for um, them to talk with aunts and uncles about hot zone issues like sexuality or relationship issues or whatever they found difficult to talk with um, to their parents about. Now that wasn't true of all um, nieces and nephews. Some of them described having really close relationships with their parents as well um, as their aunts and uncles. Um, and they discussed issues freely with either. Um, so in that sense, um, uh, aunts and uncles were supplementing what, their, what parents do and do well sometimes. Another way that um, aunts and uncles can act, can be important, is that they can act as partisan supporters for nieces and nephews. Um, and I remember one story where an aunt told me she was talking about herself when she was young and what her aunt did for her. And she told me that um, her aunt, um, that she wanted a pair of nylons and her parents, ref her father refused to get them for her. And so one day her aunt came over to her house and slapped down a pair of nylons, brand new, on the table and said, here, here's the nylons you wanted. And um, the aunt described this situation. It happened during her adolescence and for her it was a really thrilling thing because um, she had gotten something that she wanted dearly and, that her and something her parents weren't real excited about. Um, it's an example of how um, uh, an aunt can act as a partisan supporter, um, supporting the interests of a niece or nephew. And that happened pretty often too, um, not only with aunts, but also with uncles. Um, aunts and uncles would take the position of nieces or nephews and, and provide support for them as well. Sometimes they would intervene with parents and talk to parents about their children, maybe suggesting that they were um, Maybe often they would remind their remind parents of their own childhoods or their own difficulties as adolescents, and then um, kind of encourage uh, a more liberal stance to their parents if the aunt thought or the uncle thought that parents were being a little too strict with children. So um, it's really nice to see those examples of the ways that aunts and uncles can really be supportive of families. Um, I could tell you a lot more about uh, aunts and uncles. It's really been, for me, a real blessing to have this opportunity to interview so many of them and, and learn about families that really work well.